Let's meet the particulars and go to Jeff. Chauncey Perry, our first MMA fighter to make it out here. Middleweight action, 185 pounds. And uh, Chauncey, the soldier Perry, yes. representing X3 Sports, Marietta, Georgia. 0-2 coming in. He's, no. he's, uh, he's a deceptive 0-2. I've watched no. the footage on this guy. And uh, both losses by decision to tough guys. Uh, any, any thoughts on Chauncey Perry or X3 Sports? Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing, yeah, you talk about the 0-2 record. But as an amateur, you want to get as many of these in as possible. It's not going to define your career. And I'm saying it doesn't count but it does count in experience and it gives you the, the knowledge to how to handle yourself in the cage and what you can learn and process the next one. So it's, it's always a great thing and then Chauncey is doing the right thing. He's around a good team um, at, down at X3 Sports and uh, they're going to get him the experience that he needs so he can be one day a great pro. And of course uh, Chauncey, both of those losses uh, were by decision so he's had yeah. six rounds of experience yes. already. Let's get ready to meet his opponent. Uh, who is uh, from the home team here? So oh, I'm yeah. having a feeling we're about to get pretty, uh, pretty live yeah. over here. Let's <laughs> meet him. Let's go to Jeff. And now, help me welcome to the cage his opponent, Emery Searles. Emery Searles making his debut tonight, yeah. representing Rush MMA right here in Macon, Georgia, trained by. Bubby Mitchell right. as he makes his way out of the cage. Now, this is uh, amateur rules, not advanced amateur rules. Yeah. So before we get into this, and uh, just to let the people know out there, there's a few differences. They, they'll have to wear the shin guards. Yes, there's okay. no ground and pound to the head. That's so right. it makes it a little harder to, to get guys out of there yeah. once, you, once you reach the ground. You can still hit to the body. Yes. But uh, it, it gets these guys experience in there, gets their feet wet. Yes. Now, once they once we get a little deeper into the card and the guys have three fights or more, then we'll see, we'll yeah. see things open up a yes. little bit. But but, uh, let's talk about Emory Searles again. We saw his teammate start off hot. Kieran yeah. Mitchell got the win. Let's see That's if he can right. follow suit, right? Well, you look at the tape, tape here, you can see Emory's like, you know, a couple years older, same height. Um, coming out here with the 0 and 2, and then his debut again, like I was talking on the record, these guys need experience. So, what best way to do that is to compete. Um, and then, then, like again, the state of Georgia, you got to wear the shin pads, um, and they know ground and pound. So, uh, this will be exciting to see, and hopefully, you know, they can, you know, get what they need to do and then what um, and other the matches today. Let's meet these gentlemen a little more intimately. Let's go to Jeff Hobbs. Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening is sponsored by El Sombrero. It's in the middleweight division. It is your first amateur MMA fight of the night and it's scheduled for three three minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 193 pounds. He has a record of zero wins with two losses. He's representing X3 Sports out of Marietta, Georgia. Let's hear it for Chauncey the Soldier Perry. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 192.4 pounds. Tonight, he makes his debut right here for you. He's representing Rush MMA right here in Macon, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Emory Searles. Ready for this one, Sam. This should be good. Both these guys tall, long guys. Yes, you know, tall, six long foot guys. three. But uh, Chauncey is definitely a thicker 185er. <laughs> Chauncey, I was reading his bio, uh, former uh, military guy, hence okay. the nickname Soldier. A uh, few tours over overseas. Here we go. We got three three-minute rounds versus the three twos we had earlier this time. Chauncey's able to starting out with the, attacking that lead leg. Both guys uh, hitting those leg kicks early. Very active in the beginning. It's Chauncey Perry in that military green. It is Emory Searles in the, in the uh, black, yellow, and purple. It looks like that... Um Emory right here is trying to get a little bit. Oh, goes for the takedown. Gets that takedown and, and lands in half guard. It looks yep. like from here. No, he's got full guard now. Yep. As, uh, Emory trying to work on his posture. Get you know, he can't there. punch to the head here, yep. so you got to be creative. Mm -hmm. So it gets into where you have to play your jujitsu game a little bit more, and then you know you can do little strikes to the body, soften him up a little yes. bit, mm -hmm. and then move and see if you can advance. So this is good for like do. 
to work a part of the game of MMA where you can, okay, this is how jiu-jitsu, or I can stand up. And right away, the guys go right at it. Very kick heavy. Emery Charles lets him up. Now let yes. those hands go. There you go. Perry yeah. likes to initiate that clinch. Yes, yeah, likes to clinch. Nice strong clinch there. Throws a knee and okay. nice right hand there. The guys are so, yeah. and the guys are really long. And he's working the clinch there. Nice, uh, nice attempt there from yep. Perry again. As we're back up against the cage, Perry really wanted to close the distance. Yes, he wants to close the distance there. Nice, good reverse. Reverse. <laughs> it's now uh, we're returned around again. Yep. Nice knee to the body from Chauncey Perry that time. For them being long, they, they have to figure out their range here, and that was the biggest thing. Because you can extend a lot of punches and kicks, and they seem to do it really well right here while they do an exchange. I'm really liking uh, yeah, yeah. the activity here at this yes. point. Very, very active. And we're very loose, very loose stance, very comfortable for like a debuter, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems very comfortable yeah, there. You right can tell that he's not, not super nervous at all. Yeah. And then, um, you know, Chauncey's doing a great job of trying to set up his punches and make nice, right nice exchange there. Oh Good gosh. right hook from Emery Searles yeah. that time. Good jab. He's landing that jab right down the middle there. Leading up with the kick. Down to the, about 40 seconds. Ooh, nice body around. kick. I heard a little bit. Like right to the liver, man. That thing snaps. <laughs> now it's starting yeah. to put him together. Yeah. Big oh, right hand. Right hand there. Going to set up probably another body shot with a kick. Oh, like low kick. And this crowd nice. spells blood. Down he goes. He drops the floor. All right. Almost, almost. Got to watch those watch, punches there at the head. Strikes. Very smart seconds. by Chauncey going to the ground. Yes. You know, though, he just going straight to the ground there, knowing he can't get ground about it. Yep. That was a real solid shot from Emory yeah. Searles, yes. man. Ten seconds to go as uh, Emory kind of put his stamp on it at the end, I think. Yes. He did. It was very close, I yeah. thought, to that point. Very close. As the bell rings, oh, Emory Searles yeah, ends the round on top. Uh, like I said, no, up until that point, I felt it was very, very close. That might have been the difference maker in a very yes. close round. But what did it was the, the liver shot that Emory threw, like, to the body, and that kind of stunned uh, Chauncey there a little bit. So like, hopefully we see, we see that here. Here's the replay. Yeah, Take replay. it away. Nice right hand. That's just stuns him. He starts to back up. Right? And then right here. The low kick. Oh, he already threw that, so he's trying to get him right there and then drops him with that right hand. And right away, but smart at Chauncey at the same time because he knew he can't get ground to pound it. That's why he's going straight down to the ground. That landed yeah. right on that ear, too. Yes, right on there. Nice uh, accuracy we're seeing here from both gentlemen, yeah. I and think. Very impressed by the debuter. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so, uh, what would you agree? Would you give that round to Emory Searles? Or, uh, how would I, I would give that one to Emory there. Wow, for the debuter, yeah. Still very competitive through the bulk of that round, I thought. So we'll see if uh, if uh, some adjustments can be made. It looks like uh, Perry's regain regained his uh, his bearings here, ready to come out. Yeah. All right. I and mean, it'd be just a tweaking. Like if he can figure out his range, um, and then actually keep it keep it moving and stay active with his length, uh, he'll be all right. Just got to watch out for those counters. We get ready to Talk start to round number two of three here at Macon Fight Night. Two begins right away. Both guys want to put a pressure on head kick over to Chauncey. Right away, throwing a combination. Emery's not, he's Unload. not here to play. Wow. He's here to bring it. He's, that's non stop. He's getting through, sneaking a couple through. He better careful not to gas out. Perry's still returning here. But that was a lot of volume. A lot, yes. of, a lot of shots landed there. Yes. Nice lead jab. Gas him out a little bit, Emery. He, he kind of gas him a little bit for throwing so many punches. It would be your first time out yeah. here. It could happen. He's still, still in game in there. He's throwing like the punches that he needs to in there to land to keep him at bay. Chauncey at bay. This could get interesting here, I have a feeling. Uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, Searles may be able to keep this pace. It'll be yeah. interesting if he can. Impressive. Yes. <laughs> he keeps pressing. <laughs> keeps going. Nice shot for the single leg by Chauncey. He probably got tired of uh, the barrage of punches there. But good job, good job for Emory trying to defend. He's going to be able to stand up, push down on the head. Again, Chauncey there, going to be able to stand him up. All right. There you go. Uh, Emory puts his uh, Chauncey in there on the cage. We're almost halfway through this second round. And uh, 
Man, just a lot of activity. Nice and active. Good knee. Trying to be active on the defensive there, Chauncey is. But he's got to be careful and stay out of the way of those punches. Nice left hook on the break. Yes. Emery is bringing it. He's bringing the thunder with those hands. Nice try with the front kick. And he's like setting up with the jabs. I was about to say, yes. I really like the jab work yeah. here from the debut in yes. Emery Searles. And that would be, he doesn't seem to be phased by the exchange body that Chauncey Green there. Yeah. Body kick. Nice body, good catch. Keep working the jab and throw combinations. Nice clinch. Body. Oh, both there we guys go back with a body. Nice sharp knees on both guys. Nice. Working that good jab. jab as we're under yeah. a minute. Working that jab. The timing's good. Oh, nice. Cross. Nice counter. Oh. No, big Ooh, uppercut. uppercut. Ooh. Maybe one of the best shots of the night. Yeah. Oh. Low blow. Uh, no, he's low. good. He's good, okay. Excellent happen. Almost 30 seconds to go in the second round. As uh, you know, this was a little harder round to, to, to score. I think that yes. Harry's been more active, or I'm not, uh, Searles has yes. been more active. Yes. But uh, maybe starting to slow a little. Yeah, starting to slow down, especially like almost burning out that first beginning of the match, but the round, excuse me. But Chauncey's definitely trying to keep him at bay with the punches. Oh. And the first yeah. time we've seen uh, since the very beginning of the first round yeah. that, that it's Searles going for it. Yes. And trying to get the hip toss again. Oh, trying to easily take his back. And what he wants to do here is try to get those hooks in. And that's it too high. Oh, there you go. Try to turn them over. Got to get the hook in. Got to get the hook in. Oh, oh yeah. We get to and, see a you know, third after, round. At the end of two rounds, uh, I think that it was definitely a closer round. But, yes. again, I think that Searles kind of put his stamp on it at yes. the end. With that takedown took his back. Yes, yep. You know, Perry, uh, he's going to replay. Searles putting on a show for you, Nathan Georgia. Let them know how much you appreciate him. Very good at the range, but that jab is working. Just keep working the jab. Trying to counter, boom, perfect with the right hand. Another nice hook there, and here comes the uppercut. Boom, hits him with the uppercut. That stunts him there. A great job by the debut. I keep calling it the debut, but, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a good drill. So, round three coming up. What is, uh, what's your advice here, assuming that Searles is down two, uh, I'm sorry, golly, mess it up again, Perry. Assuming yeah. that Perry is down two rounds to nothing, well, what can he do to come out here and get this finished? I mean, the biggest thing is, like, not trying to, oh, um, try not to reach for his punches and kicks, that's what he seems to be doing, and that's setting up um, um, uh, uh, Emery to to hit him up with those counters. So if he can do, like, can stay calm and, and don't reach for those punches I mean, and, 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 and uh, kicks, he should be able to land his uh, his strikes a little bit better. And um, I'm very curious to see how Searle's gas tank lasts in yes. his third round. Yes. This is the test there. That's out there right away. Third very and active. final round. Good setup. Very very good job mixing it up. Like he's been doing this before. Like, you know what I mean? Like you tell he's, he's been out there and blend many, many times. Certainly one of the more polished amateur debuts I've yes, seen. Yes, yes. That's one thing that you know coming out of Rush here. Bubby Mitchell's not going to put a guy out that's, that's not prepared to compete, especially yes. here in a show like this. Yes. <laughs> especially in your home gym. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Chauncey with the double jab. Both guys working that jab. Getting the timing down. Oh, nice jab to the body. A lot of good activity there you early. Go. I mean, yeah, yeah, it was it was to the body, but uh, he kind of blocked it into his, uh, his groin there, so that's why he got the hand. Nice Switching exchanges. levels again. Yes. Oh, teak to the body. Oh, a jump kick there, almost. Great job moving the head movement. Two Keeping minutes the to distance. go. He doesn't need to break. He closes the distance, Chauncey. And again, um, Emery's able to get under hook and get the hip toss down again. Now in uh, side control here as uh, yep. the mount, is, or I'm sorry, the guard trying to be regained. Not quite there. He's got yep. it now. There he oh, does. Full mount. Uh oh, <laughs> get punch up. <laughs> and this is uh, a good spot right here for uh, Emory Searles. Is yep. he going to let him up again? Yep. Trying to get him. Oh, trying to pass guard. But they're going to need the belly. Good. He passes. All right, he's got to sit there. He's a sit, 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 and spin. There we go. Oh, he's trying to go for. Oh, puts himself uh, now, in a, puts himself look at in the bad tables situation. Turn here, maybe. Yeah. As Perry is taking his yes, back. Yes, what? A, this turn is where he needs to finish this. He's got a minute to go here, Sam. Yes. If we get those hooks in, yeah, keep that hook. Oh, 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 he turns uh, back into the guard. Oh, now he's on the guard. Good scramble. Yeah. 
Nice job by uh, yeah. Perry and Searles, both uh, yes. keeping their composure. So we're down about 50 seconds to go in this fight. And in another uh, dominant position yeah. there from Emory Searles. Yep, half guard. And in this situation, knowing you can't punch, yeah, he can definitely post up on the neck uh, you know, or the head to get, so you can pass guard here. 30 seconds to go, and uh, you got to see some urgency from Perry, you would think. Yes. And then, and then you know, Emory would be smart, too, to keep it here and oh, yeah. win the match. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? If you wanted to. Uh, and he's got this in the bag, but very good. He's getting a side control. As we count down to our final 10 seconds of this fight, it's been a good war. Good job, push off. Let's see if we get a last oh, little flurry. Let's, go. let's see what happened in the last 10 seconds here. Chauncey slip shoots in. Again, Emory's able to do a good job defending what that takeoff. What a fight, yeah, great, fight great, great fight, great fight. fight. That, you know, for a fight that, did, that couldn't have ground and pound, that was very yeah. exciting. Yes, a lot of very exciting. Back and forth. Yes. I thought that was probably Perry's best round in the third. Yes. Um, not for sure that I give him that for that round. Let's check the replay real quick. Yeah. It's right here. You, you have um, Chauncey on top. Looks like he's trying to work him out. He get gets his back. We're going to get the hooks in. So you can try to get the run and go choke, but <laughs> Emory does a great job, keeps scrambling, keeps moving, turning, 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 turning. And the biggest thing what he did there was, a lot of people don't understand, like hand fighting. He was able to control that left hand and turn into the body. So that's how he was able to end up on top and, you know, end up in guard again. So, so it, you know, I think that I think that we were going to see, uh, we're going to see a win here from Emory Searles. Yes. But how would you score that third round? Did you give one uh, to Perry there at the end? I, I don't know if I, I gave it to Perry, man. I think at the end, I think Emory finished on top um, and, and kept the control. So I, I give, uh, you know, it should be unanimous to the debut. You know, uh, I got to agree with you there. I yeah. thought I thought Perry showed very well still. You can yeah. see he's hardly breathing over there. So you can yeah. tell he's in great shape. Yeah. Seem to kind of come on a little bit as the fight yeah. uh, progressed. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing more from both these yeah. guys. Very, very exciting action. Let's get on to the decision now with Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are headed to a judge's scorecard. All three judges saw this about the same. 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Emery Sir!